Well, my name is Jim Cheatham. I'm the team leader of the Cool Cut Showcopters. We also have Kent Reinhardt, flies number two, and Bob Bolton, flies number three. Of course, we're a three-ship team. We're based in Salinas, California, and we fly Robinson R-22s. What we do is try to show people how much fun you can have with helicopters and how safe helicopters can be. The most challenging thing is uh, one of the things I do at the show, the show opening is that I go to 2,000 feet while the other two guys uh, stay close to the surface. And I ask the crowd, what we'd like to do is show you what happens when the engine quits in a helicopter. Would you like to see that? I would love to see that. I'd bet most people down here think engine quits, you are in big trouble. OK, what I'm going to do here is close the throttle, put the collective down, and I am now in on rotation. And uh, you can see I'm coming down vertically, and I'm going to spin it to the right. Now, of course, any airplane can do this. Flat spin, almost any airplane. And now I, I can do what an airplane can't do. I can stop it and spin it back to the left. And in addition to that, I can back it up. See here? It's under control. It's just it's coming down, and the uh, air is windmilling it. And what I'm going to do now is put the nose down, get a little air speed back, get my key point set up here, and I'm going to do a completely power off landing there between those two helicopters. Just kind of judging my spot now. And that's why I'd rather be in a helicopter than an airplane when the engine quits. I can put it on any small backyard if I have to. Well, what we uh, get all the time is I didn't know helicopters could do that. And they seem to be really impressed with the idea of flying backwards. I screw it up. But then we can also screw it back down. And I tell them, well, the rotor system doesn't know which way the tail boom is pointing. You know, it'll go whichever way you lean it. Get ready for smoke on. Not yet. Okay, smoke on. Now. Here they come, the cool cut showcopters. Got the smoke on. Get the camera on them. Up they go into the starburst. And as they break that off. Bob is going to come right back through here going sideways. Uh, this helicopter is actually the most popular in the world. It's used mainly for flight training. It's a two-seat helicopter. It's very efficient, very easy to maintain. There's not a grease circ on it. Everything on it goes 2,000 hours between overhaul. The reason for this is it's built on the KISS principle, which means keep it simple, stupid. And this is a Lycoming 180 horsepower, 0360 engine, a very standard known as a bulletproof airplane engine. The symbol you see right here is a cooling fan. It draws air in, blows air in for cooling purposes over the, over the fins of the engine. And of course, it being a single rotor helicopter, it has to have a tail boom and a tail rotor to counteract torque. So it's a very simple, uh, 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 basic helicopter. It goes 110 miles an hour, so it enables us to get across the country. We fly it here. Everybody always asks us, do you trailer the helicopters to shows? Folks, the answer is no. We're pilots, not truck drivers. And notice the controllability. It's amazing. You get these things right in there. You got to remember, you got that big rotor going up on top there. You don't want to tag the other guy. They get together in what they call the wagon wheel. And in that formation, everybody face forward. Turn on the smoke and information they're going to do the screw up. Okay, four point horizontal spin. Check it out. Stop underneath of the four points in precision. One more time around, and they're headed straight again. And it worked so well, they decided to do it here again, and they're going to reverse the formation. They reverse the formation. Oh, well, sure, it's easy to fly forward. All these airplanes can do that. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. Why don't we just kind of do the formation backwards? Very good.
And here they come in left echelon formation. And what they're gonna do is take that formation into a pivot turn. Watch this, everybody goes right up in the air and they all pivot around with the whole formation right around the inside chopper. And bring it back toward show center. Now there's two forward and one backward and let's see if we get him turned around. Woo, crossing over and rolled around to smoke instead. So anyhow, you got one hand on this thing that controls essentially whether the helicopter goes up or down. It also has a twist grip throttle on the end of it. In your other hand is the stick which controls whether you go forward, left, right, or backward. My history is, of course, I learned to fly helicopters in the Army. I flew in Vietnam. I've been an ag pilot all of my life. And it's so refreshing to come out here and be appreciated for what you're doing. They're gonna show you again the starburst, and this time do an egg turn at the top of it, so that ought to make a nice trail in the sky. There's part of it. There's the rest of it. Now, you probably, well, maybe you didn't, but in case you wondered what it looked like from back behind the trees, well, they'll show you, because they'll go right back out that way and do the whole works all over again out there. And Jim gives a call, smoke off. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Cool Cut Showcopters.